Uh, I will talk about uh, our view as an Air Force on the Gripen system and also the, the cooperation with the Finnish Air Force. Uh, Gripen has been an operational uh, in Finnish Air Force for about 25 years. And as Magnus mentioned uh, already at the beginning, it has been designed for the harsh uh, conditions in our area. And they, it has been able to deliver operational cap capability that are needed to operate against threats in our, in, in our uh, area of interest. The system has also been updated continuously uh, to meet new needs and new threats. As an Air Force, we have had the opportunity to be an uh, active part in this development. Uh, the close cooperation between Saab and Swedish Air Force uh, is a guarantee for us to have a fighter aircraft system that can, can deliver the operational capabilities that are needed. This way of capability development will continue with the Gripen ECHO and will guarantee a fighter system that will meet operational needs for the Swedish Air Force long into the future, uh, beyond 2060. As I also mentioned, the Finnish and Swedish Air Force have a long tradition of cooperation uh, that extends all the way back to the first flight from each Air Force. Uh, the intensity and scope have varied, but have never been as uh, extensive as it is for the moment. The first Arctic fighter meet exercise that was carried out between our, our air forces in 2003 marks for me uh, a restart of our cooperation between the air forces after the Cold War. Since then, the Swedish and Finnish air force has planned and uh, conducted several uh, national and international exercises. I mentioned uh, uh, Arctic fighter meet, cross border training, uh, Frisian flag. Uh, Iceland Air Meet, Arctic Ace uh, uh, Challenge, uh, exercise, to mention some of them. As Finland now are on the way to acquiring a new fighter aircraft, they will build an even stronger aircraft, Air Force. Our friendship and cooperation will not... Uh, uh, no. Our friendship cooperation uh, will uh, come in the Finnish Air Force as a professional and capable Air Force will remain regardless the choice of uh, fighter aircraft. The most important uh, thing is that we together can meet threats and create stability in freedom in the future. Having said that, a Finnish selection of the Gripen Echo and a Finnish and Swedish acquisition of a common uh, airborne early warning and control system will uh, further strengthen the relations between our air forces and create new and unique uh, possibilities for long-term cooperation in the combat, uh, air combat arena. We are well aware that there are uh, differences exist regarding respective countries' geostrategic situation and security policy. But we also share the same challenges imposed by a uh, common operative, uh, operating environment. And should both uh, countries operate the same fighter aircraft and airborne early warning and control system, there are uh, uh, significant positive effects when it comes to cooperation. There is a proposed technical arrangement to the FIS memorandum of uh, understanding regarding cooperation relating to a Finnish selection of the Greek and uh, ECHO uh, system. We look forward to a continued and rewarding dialogue regarding this proposal with the aim to find a future cooperation providing as much benefit to both parties. There is a draft uh, agreement on suggested cooperation uh, covering uh, capability and system development operational capabilities, and uh, enhanced training and logistics. Uh, I chose this, this, this picture to show that when it comes to development, 
this is nothing, nothing new for the Air Forces. Uh, this picture is five years ago, and it was uh, um, Hornet did a certification for air power fueling against the Swedish C-130. In this picture, we have the Swedish Air Force, the Finnish Air Force, the Swedish uh, Defense Material Agency, and I think the Finnish also uh, OTME uh, uh, unit working together for a couple of weeks to, uh, to uh, get uh, air power certification for air fueling. So this is, has been done during the history, during the history in, in uh, recent days. But the development strategies that will be a part of uh, the proposed technical arrangement compromises S minus told us, major system upgrade on a regular basis, and minor updates due to user requirements in between. And this is, uh, as a user for Gripen, uh, you can really be a part of, of new, you have to have new needs, new uh, operation capabilities, and you can do that fast together with SOLV. Uh, uh, and we can do it continuously. And this, this will also be a part of the European sector. <clears throat> if we get a harmonized technical requirements, it could create the opportunity for configuration, configuration as similar as possible between Finland and Sweden. This in turn could reduce both Finland and Sweden's total costs for development, production and maintenance of combat air system grip and echo over time. Some examples for uh, corporations when it comes to uh, new and developed capabilities. It could include, for example, developed capability to electronic warfare, both systems and know-how between our air forces, EPS, independent navigation and exchange of information, remotely controlled systems, long distance precision strike and hypersonic weapons. When it comes to cooperation uh, for operational capability, we can further deepen the ongoing work between our, or our air forces and armed forces in this area. When it comes to cooperation regarding uh, training and exercise, it could include, for example, initial training. Swedish Air Force put as a subcontractor do the initial training for the Finnish Air Force pilots. Uh, we can also have enhanced training and logistics, enhanced training. Uh, an example is operational test and evaluation, cooperation and activities. It's also possible for a, an extensive personal exchange program. You can see in front of us uh, uh, attaching Finnish Air Force personnel to the operational test and evaluation unit early on. The Swedish Armed Forces and the Swedish Air Force know that Finland expects a life cycle for the Ajax combat aircraft until 2060. We as the Air Force see this as an opportunity, as something positive. It would mean that the corresponding uh, uh, Swedish planning horizon would be established. This will, pending uh, government decisions, create the conditions for a long-term uh, joint development plan for upgrade of the Gripen Echo combat air system and an uh, air on early warning and combat system in the time perspective from uh, 2030 until 2060 and beyond. And some final points, regardless of Finland's choice of fighter aircraft, we as an Air Force look forward to a continued cooperation and in, in, in an increasingly uncertain future. A strong Finnish and Swedish Air Force will play a central role for the future stability in our, our region. Thank you and thank you, Alex. <laughs>